Hey, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to the first revisit for my Payday 2 weapon guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the CAR-4 rifle, previously covered in my fourth weapon guide. The CAR-4 rifle, like the AMR-16, Para, and AMCAR, is based off of the AR-15 rifle platform, developed by Eugene Stoner in 1958. The CAR-4 specifically has features that resemble the Colt M4A1 carbine, a compact version of the M16. The in-game depiction is likely a civilian AR-15 heavily modified to resemble it. The M4 itself was introduced in 1994, and in the United States was wholly adopted by the Army and partially by other branches of service. The CAR-4 has earned a reputation in-game as a rifle that can rise to any challenge, with a multitude of modifications in similar fashion to the Real Steel AR-15. Moving on to stats, base damage is a bit lacking for the assault rifles, 22.5 puts it on the weaker end without modification. However, once proper attachments are unlocked, this damage quickly will be increased to a much more acceptable level. One can easily get the CAR-4 to deal over 40 damage per shot without compromising on accuracy or precision, making it an excellent general purpose assault rifle on all difficulties. The competitive damage this rifle possesses makes it a very attractive choice for dealing with special units as well. The rate of fire for the CAR will be rather slow, the third slowest in its class, only edging out the AMCAR and the AK-762. While a slower rate of fire may seem like an obvious disadvantage, it is somewhat of a double-edged sword. The biggest issue with the slower rate of fire is it will prevent you from quickly taking down opponents at close range, making hipfire somewhat of a joke. Plus, you may not have the time to down stunned bulldozers before he regains his senses. On the other hand, it will also promote more efficient use of ammunition when you may be tempted to quickly unload a magazine. Stability will be quite high coming in at a healthy 17. This is just 8 points shy of the maximum stability rating of 25, making it very easy to handle out of the box. Recoil is also aided a bit as well by the slower rate of fire, giving the weapon more time to settle in between shots. Most mods for the car will increase stability so getting it maximized is a pretty simple feat. Default accuracy will sit at a thoroughly average 12 but this can be easily increased to a maximum of 18. Like most assault rifles, good accuracy is crucial to making these weapons effective. The low fire rate also means that you will have less chances to hit your target than with other rifles as well. The ability to get maximum accuracy while still being very lethal means that the CAR-4 can pick off foes from a fair distance. While it may not be as effective as a sniper rifle at eliminating specials, it can definitely remove some of the burden once the assault wave hits. Like most every other assault rifle in-game, magazine size will be 30 rounds. This will generally be enough to handle several foes in quick succession, especially considering its damage when upgraded. The CAR-4 will also have access to quite a few magazine attachments that will increase the stability of the weapon too. Those who still find their magazines to be too small should consider the quad stack mag, doubling the amount of ammunition available. Reload speeds are pretty average for the assault rifle category. Full reloads will take 3.43 seconds to complete, however if the magazine is not yet emptied, reloads will take 2.67 seconds to complete. Given the substantial differential between reload times, it is advised to reload whenever possible. Those who demand quick transitioning times, or those who are a high level mastermind, may wish to spend a few points in Kilmer, increasing assault rifle reloads by 25%. While most base stats for the CAR-4 are quite average, it is able to carry quite a bit of ammunition in reserve, allowing it to engage in sustained firefights without having to change to a secondary. This is paired with a very generous ammo pickup as well, meaning you can let your teammates make use of ammo bags. The extra ammo also allows you to take a specialized secondary, perhaps a saw or even a HE shotgun for dealing with shields and bulldozers. The CAR-4 is by far the most customizable weapon in game, making it a great choice for any mission, whether it be clandestine or cavalier. I will be covering alternative builds in a separate video, but for now we will be building a balanced assault rifle 
designed for any situation. Our choice for barrels will be very easy. The long barrel will confer massive bonuses to both damage and accuracy. Next up, for our barrel extension, we will be using the Fire Breather, granting us a sizable damage buff and a small stability increase as well. The Car 4 is built around the idea of versatility, so it's best to leave the Fire Selector switch alone. Remember, situation dictates tactics. For our foregrip, we will be adding the EMO Handguard, providing good boosts in accuracy, stability, and damage. As per the usual gadget, pick the Military Laser Module. The combination of light and laser, plus the added stability boost, are very helpful. For a grip, the rubber grip will increase accuracy and stability. However, the pro grip works just as well. To squeeze some extra damage out, we'll choose the thrust lower receiver. While the damage boost is good, it will harm our accuracy a bit. Since we will have a surplus of accuracy, however, the quad stack mag is great to have, reducing the amount of times you have to reload and giving you plenty of lead on tap. Optical attachments are very subjective. However, taking a long range optic may be worthwhile, considering the good stability and accuracy the rifle has. Next up, we will pick the War Torn stock, giving us back much of the accuracy we lost with previous attachments. While it will take a bit away from our stability, you will already have a generous surplus of it. Finally, the LW upper receiver will finish off our build with this weapon, giving us the last boost to stability and accuracy that we need. The CAR-4 can accommodate many different playstyles, considering rifles are relatively inexpensive skill-wise to invest in. However, I do recommend taking Rifleman and Sharpshooter Aced, which will be required to max out accuracy and stability. Leadership Aced is also very helpful, unless you know another player has it in your crew, in which case Kilmer Basic is a nice boost to reloads. The CAR-4 is a rifle that has built a huge reputation in Payday 2 being one of the most effective weapons in game. It's easy to handle, accurate, and packs a very firm punch, able to contend with even the hardest hitting of weapons. However, for specialized roles, the CAR-4 may have some issues, as it will be far less effective at close range and long range compared to shotguns and sniper rifles. Still, the CAR-4 is arguably the best rifle in Payday 2, and you have the right mods and skills for it, the CAR-4, will drive you to victory. Thank you very much for watching. My name, as always, is Richard, and until next time, peace out guys.